First of all, what is YECO? YECO is, a, is an institute, period. <laughs> I have tried to, to stress this point, emphasize this point very much because YECO grew out of a research network, but the purpose of YECO is to establish a consistent structure, a permanent structure, a, a, an institute, just as every other research institute you know, except that it has no walls, huh, but it is virtual. And YECO is supposed to create uh, and structure multidisciplinary and trans, uh, transnational research networks, which perform research, teaching, and innovation or knowledge transfer, just as every other regular institute we know also does. We really, I really want to emphasize that we should lose, we should, yeah, lose the habit of making a difference between YECO and other institutes. It's simply an institute which is focused on the topics of industrial ecology and industrial sustainability, just as every other institute also has a certain topic. Yeah, It is established by four implementing universities, the Karlsruhe Inst Inst Institute of Technology, the University of Chile in Santiago, the Australian University of Chile in Valdivia, and the University of Concepcion in Concepcion. There is a lot of um, different kinds of public and strategic and industrial partners. And it is established on a long history of cooperation between KIT and its Chilean partners, which has been transformed from individual corporations into a network corporation, into an institutional corporation. And we are funded from the Federal Ministry of Education and Research. This is what we are. There is something popping up in the chat. Okay, this is Gabriela. Yeah, and uh, as I said, we perform three pillars. We focus on three pillars. We do science and research. We publish together. We write proposals together. We run projects together. We, yeah, we try to make a scientific impact. Then we engage in higher education. We try to um, we train PhD students together. We establish uh, virtual lectures together. We um, we try to integrate teaching into our uh, yeah into our opera, into into what we do, and we cooperate with the industry and develop into an innovation platform uh, in, with innovation innovation platforms for entrepreneurship. This is basically the three pillars we dedicate ourselves to. And YECO is structured into four uh, thematic areas, which we call topics. Yeah, and you can see the topics here. The, the idea was to always run a topic with a German and a Chilean uh, topic spokesperson. Topic one is sustainable use of water and, and energy in an urban context. Topic two is sustainable material and energetic use of biomass. Topic three is eco-industrial use of subsoil resources. And topic four is urban eco-industrial development in South America, while topic five is land use and industrial sustainability. Each um, uni university has a coordinator. Uh, the coordinator at KIT is Gabriela Espinosa. At Universidad Austral, it's Lorenzo Reyes and Andrea Pino. Uh, within the University of Concepcion, it's, it's Alex Berg and Alejandra Steer. And at the University of Chile, it's, it's uh, Luis Vargas. At KIT, we have a particular involvement of uh, the International uh, Affairs Office with, with Irma and Pascal. And these are more or less your points of contact when you want to engage with the ECHO. This is what we are. Now, what is the progress? What have we been doing in these last couple of months? First of all, we have decided to uh, focus uh, on writing this year. And since we cannot do the cool things we usually do, travel to Chile, hold workshops there, do field investigations there, we have decided to write it all into a book. Yeah? And this is the Yeko book, which is currently being written. Its preliminary title is Eco-Industrial Development as an Industrial Strategy. 
and its subtitle is Contributions from a German-Chilean Research Corporation. And each and every topic is involved. And uh, we're going to have uh, chap general chapters and chapters relating to each topics, trying simply trying to document everything that we have been doing in the KIT Chile cluster in YECO, and yeah, to have some visible uh, outcome. The book is currently being written. We are we expect that it's more or less finalized this year. And we also we already have the agreement of Springer to, to have it published. Yeah, and I think actually there's a high dynamic in this editorial process. We all have been involved in different editorial processes. I have experienced that most edited volumes are much slower and you know, have much more delays. And that it's and in the Yako book, actually, that the speed with which it grows is really fast and which is great you know, because that shows us that we really have done a lot of work and that the idea to say let's document it in in 2021 in which we continuously cannot travel was a good idea now what do we do in teaching i want to draw draw your attention to uh, uh, something that we have been creating in collaboration with my institute and with the graduate school of the KIT Center Humans and uh, Technology, uh, which is an international virtual lecture series uh, supposed to begin in the winter semester of 2021 and 2022. It's called Critical Perspectives and Contending Concepts of Sustainability. Uh, and we have invited in total 13 international speakers from all continents of the world and from different countries to um, bring in their perspectives, their critical perspectives on sustainability. Now, what is the idea behind it? Do we want to get rid of sustainability? No, we don't. Uh, actually, everybody, we, we are convinced of the concept and we need this concept, but the original idea was if we work in a global north to global south co co collaboration about sustainability, then we should also try to deconstruct the notion of sustainability as it is, because you can argue that sustainability is a global north idea, and it's primarily shaped by global north ideas, and global south countries have their different uh, perspectives on sustainability, and I think it can enhance our cooperation if we take these perspectives into account and discuss from an international perspective what is sustainability to us. Yeah? And the best idea to, to, to tackle this challenge was to simply invite people from all over the world to discuss with us. Yeah? And you have the link here. And please, everybody, I mean, I don't know how many people are present at the moment, Gabriela. Uh, around 50 sorry, for, for around 50 please i would ask you to have a look at the home page and to see if you want to participate and most of all to share it you know, share this idea share this lecture series with everyone you know in your universities in your private networks because we think that this is it was a lot of effort to organize it but i think it's really worthwhile to take part there's so many interesting talks and they can really enhance our notion of sustainability. I'm currently finishing reading every article that the speakers have provided, and it's really very interesting. So please, please at least check if you can take part in a couple of sessions and distribute it as, as widely as you can. Yeah. And now I want to switch over to Irma, which uh, wants to present um, some further activities we're involved in. Yes, so these activities are um, related to higher education also and networking. We had a super cool plan for this year. We planned a summer school in Valdivia um, with all theoretical lectures in all YECO topics. And we had also practical aspects, hand-on sessions, and also activities um, with entrepreneurship elements and cultural events, obviously. 
Um, and uh, since Chile still has their, they, they have travel restrictions in place or actually quarantine requirements, so we cannot travel to Chile this year, um, but we will work on a virtual format or may, maybe even hybrid. Um, this will be a collaboration with all topic spokespersons. They will be contacted after the ECHO day so we can start um, planning this. And the real thing we are hoping to realize next year, because we re, like we resubmitted our application to the DAAD, that is the funding or a funding organization in Germany, and um, so hopefully, fingers crossed, we can do it next year. Um, next slide. Um, another activity, if. I get to the next slide. <laughs> Thank you. Will be a KIT alumni seminar um, in collaboration with YECO. And um, that was also planned for this year. And we actually even had a grant from the DAAD. Now we will have to see what we can do. Um, it will, it's the same issue, the quarantine restrictions um, or actually measures that we still have in Chile. Um, so we can't do it in person, but we will plan it with the alumni club um, Chile. Uh, I believe the president of the um, alumni club in uh, Chile is even here. Oh yeah, here he is, Christian Bornhard. And Evin Plett, we will discuss with them what we can do virtually, um, maybe a two or one day event. And it will, like usually the format is um, people from KIT, uh, researchers and also KIT alumni, they share and discuss their current projects and activities with a focus on yeah, topics that we usually have within YECO. So the news will be posted and hopefully um, we can do something next year in person. And yeah, back to you, Andreas. Um, yes, well, some further highlights. We want to draw your attention to the KIT International Excellence Grants. KIT is using their funds to invite excellent researchers from other countries to have a research stay at KIT. It's, the funding is substantial and among us relatively easy to acquire, or at least it was in the two in the two initiatives I've been involved in. One was with a Chilean researcher who has been granted a research stay for three months at KIT. And another one was with Argentina. Um, so you do have the opportunity to invite your um, research fellows from Chile to, to KIT. The, uh, the application is resubmitted every couple of months. So consider if that wouldn't be an, an opportunity for you. It could be you could invite a topic speaker or you could, your co-topic speaker to your to, to KIT and spend some time with him or her at KIT. Or you could invite a PhD candidate or whatever, yeah, what, uh, whatever kind of investigator seems to be helpful to your initiatives. Um, yeah, we simply, we do not distribute this money ourselves, of course, but KIT does, and we wanted to draw your attention to this, yeah. And then we had several research of students from UDEC and Wache to, to the ECHO uh, facilitation um, via the Baden-Württemberg Foundation scholarships. And Germany is a guest country uh, at Exponor Chile in 2022, and ECHO takes part of the task force. Yeah, is, is part of the task force. So yeah, I think yeah, during the last couple of months, we gained momentum and we have been able to, to get involved in, in initiatives that take part between Chile and Germany as a country. And yeah, what is going on in the topics will be discussed afterwards. And yes, we are, expect to intensify our collaboration with the ECHO partners in 2022. 
uh, most importantly with Fraunhofer Chile, with Sofofa Hub, with Youth Latam, and with the KIT Alumni Club in Chile. So try to register to our YECO newsletter to stay informed and in contact with the coordination teams. And that was it. My cursor doesn't really respond. No. And so, yeah, join the YECO community and shape YECO with us. Yeah? YECO depends on each and every one of you who is willing to act actively cooperate. Yeah, so get involved. Mm -hmm.